can be only one podcast, and may it be the Princess of the Universe. Hi, folks. I'm Matt. I'm Bruce. And I'm Steven. Hey! We're back. We're going to talk about the uh, Lord of Chaos now. Good book. Good book? I like this one. You thought it was okay. Oh, no. no. <laughs> this, is, this is your favorite one, right? Uh, it's hard to tell. Like, because the... We'll get there, but the ending is what makes the book for me. Okay, all right, all right. So I, I got you. How, how Bruce was talking about how it was starting to get redundant with mm-hmm. him facing off with another Forsaken at the end of the book and everything like that. And I was like, just wait. Just <laughs> wait. Just wait. Uh, yeah, the, the ending of this book is yeah insane. And just the setup for it yeah. know, throughout the book. Uh-huh. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Um, it gets real I, in this book. Oh yeah! Oh yes! Oh yes! Um, I do like though how you're three and a half hours into the audio, and then you finally get to chapter one. You see, you know? <laughs> that's when you know Robert Jordan is because uh, we the, the you know the story kept going. I remember listening to it, and it, and later on the day, and then it stopped. And I was like, okay, what's the, and it said chapter one. I went, chapter one. <laughs> We're gonna be here for a while. And this <clears> one. <throat> This one, yeah, one of the longest books. It was like forty something hours. Yeah. yeah, it's a pretty yeah, it's a pretty big one. Um, there was like it's three the of them. That, one yet. There was like three yeah. of them that top forty hours, if I recall. Yeah, and this one, this one is the longest one yet. But I remember thinking, oh my gosh, <laughs> when I listened to that. Um, Lutz Theron is growing stronger inside Rand uh, now. Uh, he's now just not a good. voice. He's yeah, I'm really enjoying that. impacting. Yeah. yeah, no, and and Rand is actually having to fight him. Yeah, exactly. For, for control. And this is something that we mentioned earlier on one of the previous books. We Spoiler. we talked about no, no no previous books. We were saying that you know Rand can hear Lewis Theron, but it's going to be even more intense right. later on. See, now he's realizing he can talk back and forth. That it's not just right. They're having voice. discussions he's, now. He's not his own voice. mind. It, yeah, he's not just a voice in his head. It's, uh, it's somebody there. And then yeah. Lewis Theron's kind of realizing the same thing. He's like, wait a second, there's somebody yeah. else controlling his body. Yeah, 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 Why yeah. Do I have this voice in my head. No, you're in my head. <laughs> Stop looking at that will turn calf. Yeah. <laughs> he starts humming. Yeah. Like, girls. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um and and this one we also have a Gwen and Gowan hooking up. Yeah. Um they they get together on this and yeah. this book. So that's their start of their relationship. I'd kind of forgotten that and then I re- I, I totally forgot it. Oh, really? But they, they had that beginning, and then when Rand came across him at the end, I was like, oh my goodness, Rand's going to kill him, and that's going to split him and yeah. Wayne. I was like, I thought that's where they were going to go, but they didn't go that way. But I was like, oh, that's going to be cool. Yeah. <laughs> and I'd forgotten about their, their time, you know, uh, making out in all the different taverns and stuff. And it, it made me just kind of not like that relationship. I still don't really like the relationship, but um, later on, you're just like, wait, y'all hardly know each other. I mean, why? why it why, why it did. Which relationship in this book involves people that do know each other? <laughs> That's true. That's true. Well, I mean, uh, uh, Rand and Elaine's relationship, you're just, they're hardly ever together, and yet they fawn over each other in their. In that their is field. strange. Like they twice. <laughs> but, but, but Rand and Avienda spend a lot of time together. Mm-hmm. That one actually felt somewhat right. organic. Um, and then Rand and men. That's, that's again a li- more organic. Me, it's it's more of men. men pining for Rand, and then when she finally gets to Rand, it's like, okay, we're a couple now. Yeah, but see, men has the has the uh, the vision for yeah. foreshadowing whatever that she knows that she's going to fall in love with him. Yeah, yeah she she's okay. her destiny and everything. Avienda has the same thing when she goes through the glass towers in um, in Royan. So right. She knows that she's going to. So they're both kind of fighting it, but at the same time, they're drawn to it. Elaine as well. I mean, at that but, point, but she's Elaine like, didn't, I, no, Elaine just met her. Men <laughs> never told Elaine that uh, that she was going to be. And then Elaine had that weird thing with Tom that was just creepy. Yeah, that was. Creepy. <laughs> yeah, that was weird. Yeah, we won't talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward silence. Okay. Well, Morgay's is dead. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Move, moving on to that one, I didn't. I just, I, I, I just totally forgot about that. Um, you got Matt's sister who comes in it, and I don't think she's in it for the rest of the series after this. Or if she is, I just totally no, forgot about her. One? Yeah, uh, 
I don't think she's mentioned it. I mean, she's in this one for a few chapters or yeah. whatnot, and then she just kind of like, hi, I'm Matt's sister, and yada, 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 and I'm gone. And I don't think she comes back either. Or if she does, I don't remember her name. There might be a couple little references. Is there? Okay. But it's weird because you, you, it, you, it sounds like we're introducing a new character. We're yeah. going to start following. It's going to be part of a group. And later, I mean, spoiler, later on it goes nowhere. No. But it, it, isn't that strange, though, that no. she gets introduced and I wouldn't be surprised. gets well, he, some he character? And, a lot of characters, especially in the... In the true, but the, this the, is connected the, to one of the big the, three, and I thought, oh, right, that's going to be... He, he always does these random uh, point of views and stuff <clears> like that. Um, right. Uh, George R. R. Martin does that, but usually they die by the end of the epilogue uh, or prologue. Yeah, because it's all yeah. His always start with you know, side characters that don't really affect the story, though it kind of sets up the story. Uh, right. Yeah. Um, but but Robert Jordan, he's he'll introduce five or six different point of views, and then we'll sometimes go back to them later on in the book. Well, like Loyal's mom, who's also in this as well. Yeah. And she's a great character. Oh, yeah, she's, she's great. great. She's great. I like Loyal. Uh, We've already talked about this. I like, He's I like fantastic. Elder, I like Elder Hammond. Elder Hammond? Okay, yeah. Cool. They're just like, they don't get going too much. They only had that one I, little bit that I've been I, I, I'm, I'm just staying in Lord of Chaos and just yeah. talking about her character. Because no. I like Loyal. I like Loyal's mom. She does come back later on in it, but I mean, yeah. she's not she's not that they, big they, into they, it. But she's bringing the girl around for Loyal to hook up with. Yeah. I know that's, that's right. the whole thing. I had a great line. It was just like. <clears throat> Uh, he was talking to Perrin about her. He's like, oh, in her ears. Oh, I, I hate to be so crude. And, lo and Perrin's just like, what? Her ears? Her ears? <laughs> Did you see the ears on that? <laughs> oh, Gare. Look at how they uh, twitch. Uh, uh. <laughs> that, like, that, that made me laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um. This, is some, this is some ample earlobes. <laughs> And Rob Jordan sitting behind his laptop. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, you know me. I try not to be so crude. Please forgive it. It's like, oh, Lord, I know that was <laughs> that was funny. He's like, oh, I didn't, you know, didn't mean to be impolite, you know, kind of crude there, and you know, man talk and everything. What? <laughs> um, I do love again. Matt uh, now has the knowledge of all the great generals throughout the years, yes. and I love how just like we've we've talked so much about Perrin Hell, he's just such a great character. Uh -huh. And how he's built well. Well, now Matt's finally coming into that character a little bit more. Like he has this large, because he can see things general wise. He's looking at battles. He's thinking, oh, yeah, I know this. I have to go check on my men. Why? You don't need to tonight. Yeah, something tells me it's important uh -huh. to always check on your men. Yeah. And that's the that's the history that's been yeah. lodged in his brain. So I, I, I've enjoyed that. Matt has really grown as a guy. Yes. Every book, oh, yeah. anytime he's in, he's more and more. And really, one of my favorite scenes in this is when he. Catches up with Nynaeve and Wayne at the. Oh yeah. Uh, and yeah, he walks. Salidar. Yeah, that was that was fantastic. He walks in, and he starts telling them what's up. Yeah. They're not listening. They go use the power. Blank doesn't affect him yeah. a bit. Uh huh. Uh, you know, and it was just a just a moment where he comes out on top with the girls for the first time, and they're usually the ones always yeah. kind of pushing him around. Yeah. yeah. But, but then it goes back <clears throat> yeah. down to where you know. They bully him into doing something. And, you know, Which had some fun stuff. Yeah, it, it, yeah. He had to, there's a fun dynamic. He has there. to take them. Um, uh, where, where were they headed? Ebidar. Ebidar, and uh, and you know, uh, I'm gonna mess up Elaine and Egwene's names here. Uh, I always do that. Egwene's the 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 princess. The Amal, no, the Amalan seat. The Amalan seat of the uh, rebel Aes Sedai. Elaine is the, okay, Elaine. Okay, Elaine is, is trying to uh, usurp him in front of the men. I'm mainly yeah, coming yeah. up with the ideas of what he needs to do first right. and telling him. Uh -huh. And then he has to do it because he knows it's something and, he has to tell them right. anyway. In fact, this is the book where Egwene becomes the Omelin seat. Right. She gets yes. voted in. So yeah. she's, but yeah. I figured she would at some point. I just figured that's where the books were headed. I wasn't right. expecting it this early. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, she, they they basically put her up there as a as a puppet. Yes. And she has to kind of deal with that for a while. It's before a good thing she, she realizes before she that can kind of come into her own and and everything. But right, um, all all the girls get their characters pushed a little bit more in this one because yes. 
Men, this is where men uh, comes to Rand and says, "Hey, we're, you and I are together. This is what's she happening." Didn't tell and them that, but she's heavily flirting with them all the time. Well, you know, well at this point, she's not living. Yeah, yeah, she's not well, his not leaving off, his side. It starts and, yeah. off with her, him making a comment like, "You know, I don't see you as a girl," and then she's just like, "Well, <laughs> it's time to train you that to, yeah. to see me as a girl." <laughs> my pants are gonna get tighter. My sh- my jacket's gonna get shorter. You're gonna notice my hips and. Yeah, you know, always, yeah. You know, flirt and, and you know, give them you know side kisses and, and, uh-huh. and yeah, a kiss, a kiss and a cuddle, <laughs> kiss and a cuddle. No cuddles, so, no cuddles, no cuddles, no cuddles yet. <laughs> what do you call sitting on his lap? <laughs> and uh, well, yeah, I'm telling you, I'm t- yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, Nynaeve has a big startling revelation where she uh, heals Loghain. Yes. From the uh, and gentling and with something that you've we've been told that could not happen. I mean, it's something but, I was kind of expecting would happen. It's, it's, I was not surprised, I, I, but you know, again, well, was, well, men's nice vision see. hints at it. Like yeah. she, she keeps saying, "Oh, that's true." He's got this aura of, of glory. He's going to do something great. And you're like, "What? How? how? He's gentled. Yeah. yeah, he can't do anything. He cries, yeah. <laughs> sissy." And I, I thought it was it was kind of cool how so she she heals uh, Liana. Uh, Swan and Loghain. When she heals Loghain, he's completely healed. Yeah, oh yeah, like he's not back, even yeah. worked by his, the taint. Back to his yeah. full strength and everything. But when she heals Swan and Liana, they, they're not even half as powerful as they were. Now, did she do that prior to Loghain, though? Loghain was first. Loghain, Loghain, was, Loghain was first? first. Okay. Loghain All right. was kind of accident. I just came across it. Well, and that's the thing. Nynaeve's been kind of a screw up this entire time. Ever since, yeah, yeah. she's been falling behind Extremely the eight ball. So, so, yeah, oh yeah, and now she's finally getting on the right track and doing something, you know, moving in a positive way. Mm-hmm. Even she doesn't understand how you know, it all happened. It just kind of came. She didn't go right. in there thinking, I'm going to try to heal him with the gentleman and say, hey, what's this? And kind of pulled the, pulled the thread and uh-huh. everything right. came open. So there's, there. there's a chance that she does, just hasn't perfected it yet and just hasn't known it. Because, I mean, hey, you know, you, you make that one shot at the pool table and everyone's going, wow, that's awesome. Yeah, and you know, you'll never make that shot again. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You'll try, <laughs> and it may look okay the next time, but not like it did that first time. Look perfect the first time. So I, I, that's kind of how I equivalent it to, but I'm glad that Nynaeve has finally got something right. Yeah. I mean, it's fine, but after a while, you're like, man, she is totally just screwing up one thing after the next. Why do we need her? Yeah. You know, I mean, at this point, everyone's passed her up. No one really respects her. You know, in a way, yeah. you know, and so she's losing all the authority that she once had at the beginning, which is a fine story. You couldn't break down like, character that way. Yeah, you know, and and that's that well, was part of the purpose. Yeah, it's a, a character with her anger issues and and self absorbed thoughts right. all the time. Like she cannot be wrong. She lashes out any time that she is. And yeah, she tries to turn it. To cannot be ignored. Really Must wrong. yeah. That kind of character needs to be broken down. Yeah. If they're going to grow, they got to be they got to be broken down. So this is this is good for her. Like, yeah, this is good really for her. The first few books, she's not really likable. She's growing on me a little bit as as she is kind of worn down. We'll see how she ends up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we have uh, sw- switching gears a little bit. We have uh, Perrin. Uh, Perrin encounters it's nice the. Nice to have him back. Yeah, it's nice to have him back. He has the uh, most uh, uh, the most awful in laws in history. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I was saying. That was a good scene. That was, no, that was really good. Bill's relationship and everything kind of gets fleshed out as the reasons behind. Right. She's always nagging him like that. And she's kind of annoying in this book. Well, towards the end. This book. Yeah, we'll, we'll see how it goes. Just uh, right. Just, I cannot stand Fayol. I would say if she keeps doing this kind of behavior, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna like her. <laughs> well, I just, I was just thinking, if I was pa- parent, I'd be rage quitting at this point. I was like, you know what? Here, have your daughter back. It's I'm like, gone. It's Deuces. Like, it's yeah. like everything that like, annoys you about your wife, but that's the only quality in her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, but I, I enjoyed that. You know, parent. You know, I was, I was waiting for him to wolf out and just devour the whole family. You know, <laughs> just. <laughs> <laughs> a little Red Riding Hood style. Let's take a trip to Tel Aviv and just yeah. leave them there. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Davim, you can come back because Dav- Davim Bashir's exactly. He's, one of my favorite. He's a cool character. So I, the thing is, I want to I, I want to go to the end, but I don't want to yet. I want to see if there's anything else because the ending is where this book oh. really shines. But oh, yeah. before I skip to the ending, is there anything I, I failed to mention or you wanted to mention 
in between. Uh, uh, by the way, uh, I, the, re- I'm, the reason I'm... Things that add a little bit of the yeah, go ahead. So, so Rand is being <clears throat> quoted by the, the Tower Aes Sedai right. in Carrion. And and then the rebel Aes Sedai in Camelin. Right, that split is now evident. Well, Rand was bonded at the beginning of the book. Right, Alana. Oh, uh, that's right. With who was with uh, Varen in the two rivers, Mm -hmm. helping with the whole Trolloc issue. They come to. uh, It's either Camelin or Cari, and I can't remember. (laughs) Um, Yeah. They they're the ones that are bringing all the girls from the two rivers with. Bodwin Coffin, uh, Matt's yeah. sister. Um, Who's only in this book. Keep going. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, when Rand goes to, to meet them, Alana just goes up and takes his head and bonds him right there. And yeah. It's basically rape, is what they call it. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he is now yeah. bonded to her against his will. There's nothing he can do about it. He can't break that. No, I mean, yeah. The only way that that can be changed is if she changes it and she's not... Negative. She's not going to change it. She went in there forcefully, willfully, you know, made him pick up the soap. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things... She threw the soap on the ground and said, get it, Rand. He's like, okay. Oh. It's one of those things Elaine said she, was, she would do the second she saw him. So That's true. I Elaine's been threatening to do that, too. Mm-hmm. She, she's been saying it for two books. There's some, there's some scary people yeah, here. They even talk about how... The water bond is rarely used to, uh, quote unquote, compel the water to do what they're supposed to do. Compel, as in the the weave of, of do compelling. You, do you think this is how Harriet went after jo- uh, Robert Jordan? Maybe. <laughs> Just said, "Hey, you, Maybe come here." And he's slapped him upside the head, him dragged him to the drive-through, the Las Vegas Strip, and said, "I do, I do, man and wife. Say, <laughs> man and wife." <laughs> man and wife. Uh, Oh, that's good though. I forgot about but, that. But Elaine and um, and Nynaeve both talk about how whenever they bond their water, Nynaeve talked about getting um, lands bond, and and Elaine talked about bonding um, Rand, and even Egwene talking about bonding uh, Gawain sometime in the future. Yeah. Like, well, I'm I'm gonna make sure that. There's a, there should be something in there where they have to obey me. Yeah. Well, like, well, that is manipulative and evil. I'm telling you what. I'm going to bond that man. I want, I want to stake my claim before anyone else can get it. I mean, I'm... He, I don't care about his happiness. All I care about is me. Uh-huh. It's selfish. Yeah. They should all die. Compulsion, not compulsion. I would say, what one of those thoughts that happen is, is, like, could Rand just steal her and cut the bond that way? Oh, steal her? I would assume so. If, if she no longer... Oh, has that's her, true. He I could. Wonder, I, I could yeah, because my, my, no, no, my thought no, is... what it is. She keeps her distance from him after after she does it. I mean, she pretty much just, just like... Yeah. High tells it out of there. Yeah. Well, he could do that because... Um, she, well, he just, at, the, at, the, at the end of the book... He's stealing some... some he he steals some women. And they don't... Their, their waters just... Uh, there's just no bond there anymore. When Swan... Sanche is still mm-hmm. her. Well, because her water died first. Yeah. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. Gotcha. That's right. He he, he died, died first, and then, and then she was stilled, and then she couldn't bond. There, there was no. There, there wasn't any emotional connection there. I mean, I think it's no, no more. I think than, they than get normal. cut off from everything. So I, in that case, it would eliminate the I, I, bond. I don't know if it then plays this way in the books at all, but I assume that's why she was one of the reasons she was kept keeping her distance from him, other than just him being mad. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's a good thing that the doctor I should die is in right now. <laughs> Immediately so. after Swan is um, healed from stilling, mm-hmm. she has this huge emotional surge about losing her water. That's right. That's so right. So as soon as yeah. as soon as the power is back, the, the loss everything of hits bond. her. Yeah, and that's so, true. So it so, is eliminated. Yeah. yeah, in that if case. If wanted to break the bond, he would have to steal Alana. Okay. Yeah, I'd love to see that. It doesn't happen. I'd love to see well, that. <laughs> anyway, I am just ways to go. <laughs> it didn't happen. <laughs> There's so many things that happen that you'll forget. That yeah, you'll forget all this. <laughs> you'll forget that it doesn't happen. You'll forget that it doesn't happen, but it does. <laughs> I'm not just throwing things at you. Um, yeah, so anyway, there's any other things before the uh, final 
Well, we got, we got the, <clears throat> one of the big things that led to the end was uh, Rand's treatment of the Aes Sedai. Yeah. You know, we had the two groups come into court. Oh, right, right, right. He, right. Would, he right. would give them hard rules to follow, mm -hmm. and uh, and the, the the group from the tower, they had they tried to do a big show of force to get right. respect. Right, flex their muscle a little and bit. That was a nice scene. He cut them yeah. off. Smacked him down. Oh, he did. Uh, it was and, great. And it sets you up as the reader, just like, okay, Rand's in control of all this. Right. Yeah. And so you're just not realizing that they've got way deeper plans. Yeah. It's it's not as much about who's more powerful, but who's more cunning. More clever. And, exactly. And Rand can be very cunning. And a lot of that, they, they mention it several times, and it might be in later books, but Luce Theron was an extremely good planner. Exactly. Battle yeah. commander, he, he made really good plans. He was extremely cunning. And he yeah. has that knowledge now within but, him. But when you've got the, uh, you know, the Aes Sedai and you know, 15, 20 of them, they come up with some pretty good plans. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's, no, that, for that's sure. They caught me as the reader. <laughs> yeah. No, it's really good. And, you, and when you read moments like that, you know that this is going to play out well in a TV series. Mm. I really hope they don't try to be witty and change something because I like the way this went Support down. Your uh, yeah, I don't like that because I like, go ahead and just give us what we want to see because even though it is a twist, yeah. I'd still want to see the twist. Yeah. Uh, the, the problem I have with, um, what is that book? Uh, I Am Legend, mm -hmm. the movie. The movie changed the ending of the yeah, book. Nobody wants to do that ending and, of the book. And, and the, the thing, thing, the ending the line, of the book <laughs> is the <laughs> best ending. It it's is. the best it's ending. It's great for a book, not for not for TV. I know for at, at least not for mainstream TV. It oh, would have yeah. worked as an indie film. Yeah. Well. No, no, no. It works as a Twilight Zone episode. Yeah. Is what it does, and it yeah. but it's brilliant like a Twilight Zone yeah. episode. It's a short little story too. So making a movie out of it, yeah. But the thing is, though, it's got a great ending, and I kept waiting to see that the Will Smith movie. I was like, "All right, everyone's gonna be surprised when they hear the ending well, here." See, see. What? <laughs> uh. I saw the movie, and I was like, "Oh, there's a book." So I listened to the book. I was like, well, this is nothing like the movie. Yeah, but it's That's still good. It's great. It's the same idea, but yeah. it's completely. yeah, it's great. It's great. But I hate when they do that, especially with the, they're like, "Oh, we need to change this twist up." No, you don't. Leave it as it is. It's a good twist. Keep it. It's great. Uh -huh. It's great. Though I don't know, uh, this is way off topic, to off topic uh, but I don't know that that type of isolation that he felt in the book would would translate, translate well. Tra because it, de the book was it depends. Because Well, I understand. The far and CB the radio is about the only thing they had. That right. Was. So... I don't know that that type of well, translation would have translated to a current he, I, story, which, of course, current was how long ago did they make the movie? I mean, they made it like, goodness ago, gracious, probably. yeah. But but still, at the same time, just for its era and age, it's good. And if you, I mean, to have one actor go around an empty town for, you know, an hour and a half would be, you know, it could be boring. But at the same time, you have Tom Hanks' uh, Left on an Island. Yeah, Castaway. Castaway, you know. Um, so that you, you could make it interesting, but that, like I said, that's, that's down the beaten path. I just hope they don't change things like that yeah. and think, Oh, I think we can do better. No don't fix it. If it's not no. broke, they're going to start to think that you can do something better no. than the guy that wrote a 14 book best selling yeah. series yes. that sold millions and millions of copies world around. Yeah. No, well, the, don't think the fear you is that they're going to be like, Oh, well, the women should be more powerful. And so we're, it's only going to be two of them that can capture. That's all you need. That would be don't need that, that would though. completely ruin it. But That'd be terrible because it doesn't even make sense because he is the Dragon Reborn and you've got to plan you've got to have contingency plans. You gotta have you gotta come prepared. Right. Not just one or two people. You know, and I I just I, I really hope they don't. I see what you're saying. I really hope they don't do that. I really hope they just keep it as is, because as is it's great. Mm -hmm. As is it's great. Okay, any more things before we get to the end? Mm, no, no, Alright, so the the whole book in general is really good, but the ending, yeah. oh my goodness! So Rand is captured. Yeah. Perrin goes after Rand. Yeah, because the thing is, and well, the thing is, the eyes that I come in. He's gone for how many days before they realize that he really is gone? Because uh, he, he kind of set up. They, they, I I don't remember, but it is a. He disappears there's, often. He disappears from going back and forth from Camelin and Carrion from his bedchambers. So, you know, the, the, the maidens will get True. look and they're like, well, shit, he's gone again. He's gone again. Yeah, they don't realize he's gone, gone. 
Um, you know, the Aes Sedai came in humbly this time and mm-hmm. said they're a show of force, but then he realizes that he's surrounded by them. They're yeah. his, yeah. his, his, his the maids, servants the are servants. not servants. They, yeah. they, 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 they infiltrated him. Yeah. And it's so all been an elaborate trap. Women that had not had the shawl for very long, they had not achieved that right. faultless face. Um, and so uh, he, he, it, and it, he didn't think about it. And so he was now surrounded, and it, and it takes what? Uh, how many to bind him? Uh, several. I can't I remember, but I don't know that they even say. But it, yeah, it's, but there's it's several. Yeah, yeah, there's several that bind. Seven to hold him, but they brought like four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that once he is shielded, I think they use six. Yeah, six to hold. Six to okay. hold. But it's constant. They just have to constantly yeah. Yeah, use they, they, all their They're not focus. allowed to tie off the weaves or anything like that. Right. <clears throat> and so um, Perrin goes after him. And and, and the uh, one of the descriptions here, it's, it's a bloody battle. Oh, yeah. But um, Perrin kind of just imagines that he's just tearing through Bramble yeah. with blood. <laughs> and, praying, and praying that there aren't women involved, but he's yeah. not, he's not, but, yeah. yeah, he's not even, he's lost in the battle, but yeah. as far well, as he's concerned, on, he's, we, there's more than just the, the oh, no, 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 there's way more, sword. because, okay, oh, while he's in captivity, he's beaten every morning, right, stuffed back in this, into this, basic box, <laughs> box, yeah, for, for clothing, <laughs> bent over completely into a box, yeah, he kept there all day long, then at night, they let him out, and and beat him again. Yeah. No, these aren't nice people. Yeah. No. They well, deserve to uh, die. Well, and the but... first, the well, the first night after they leave, Camelin, I think, um, when they let him out for some exercise, he's shielded, but they don't realize that he's actually an incredibly good swordsman, he and he two kills <laughs> two warders. Yeah. One of those, which which goes back to the book, because uh, you know uh, the guy's helping him train land. Uh, you know, not 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 land the the other. Uh, oh, Ruark. Power, Ruark. You know, he was like, why, um, why are you worried about swords? I mean, this is no no big deal. You don't need to have swords. You got the power. You're the dragon born. You just take people out. And he's like, no, we're going to learn swords. And then this is oh, kind you're, of shows you're, why. you're talking about Mazar Mazar Yes, Tain. yes. Yeah, that, I guess that is another that kind thing. Of, you know, Mazar it definitely Tain. you know plays into it. Yeah. It does. That sets up what we see later on. That's true. I forgot about that. Yeah. But uh, Perrin comes in and. And and he's pretty badass. Yeah, oh, well, yeah. we knew that was. Coming. He's a uh, yeah. He, he hates it. Big boy with a, with a with a big axe and chopping through that bloody bramble, man. Yeah, that bloody bramble. I was like, oh, well, the, oh, the, the, oh, oh, oh. the Shido Aiel, they think that they can take uh, Savannah, the uh, just another power crazy woman in the show, in the movie uh, books, um, thinks that she can just take Rand from the Aes Sedai. And so right. she and the and the the Shido Aiel are the ones that are attacking at the same time that <clears throat> Perrin is coming in to try to rescue Rand. And so he actually ends up having to fight through the, the yeah. Shido just to get to And that's who he's getting through. That's the, what I'm talking about. Yeah, the, just the other blows Sedai. right yeah, through them. No one can stop him. He's a he's a hurricane. Um Rand's army oh, yeah. comes Ashman. and it oh, and it gets Nuts. I mean, we're talking about heads exploding, yeah. Think, screaming well, and agony Rand, and fear. Yeah, this is after Rand well, this back with his people. Well, I know, well, I know, I know, but I'm just this is part of the battle at the end. Yeah. This is just, and it's just, I mean, it is a blood bath, a literal. And this is what just made the whole time you're reading this going, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, yeah, oh, flame coming up from the grounds so, and everything. So, uh, and the, the movie Watchmen, yeah, with uh, uh, Doctor Manhattan. Being you know right. hundred feet tall in the battle in uh, uh, in Vietnam and everything, and he's just walking, and people just start exploding. That's basically what the Ashman. It, it was a nice, yeah. It was a nice call because it was like, Ray, you sure you want to do this? And it's yeah. just like we're doing a show of force. Yeah. They're gonna know yeah. what they did. They and, they need to they need yeah, to understand who's the boss. Power. Yeah, they have this dome that's kind of protecting Rand. Now, once he breaks out of the, he eventually. This is where he kind of. Starts working with Luce there. Yes, that was going to right, and, and right, Luce and now this is where everything's coming together. Luce Theron teaches him how to, how to the break, knots. how yeah, how to undo the knots and break out of a shield. Yeah, but it really can't be done as long as they're maintaining the shield. So whenever the Shido and Perrin start attacking, it distracts. Different Aes Sedai start 
tying off the, the weed yeah. so that fight. they can go, they can go assist. And so once they're tied off, well, he can he can break out, break yeah. out. And he finally, the, the, the chest just explodes from the inside and shrapnel everywhere. It's awesome. Everywhere. Awesome. Um, and, and, and he breaks through the shield so hard on the last two or three he steals the women that are holding that shield. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I mean, it, it's, the, the, the different scenes, like the whole entirety of, of it's Bruce epic. Wells is epic. But it there is. are different ones where you're just like, holy shit. I know, I know. He really just goes and you're like, oh, oh, because the whole time I'm reading it going, oh, oh, because <laughs> yeah. he because he calls the fire from the ground. It just comes out everywhere. Just, oh, yeah. bu- 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 well, it's just he's like, okay, like, lift the shield, you know, yeah. two meters. N- and it comes up, and then there's destruction. Yeah, the destruction water, everywhere. Basically, yeah, just destroying. And they're having the, to step over bodies. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. It's like, oh, my gosh. It's just, and I mean, it shows how powerful that Rand's army is. And now, then, at the same Rand time, what they've learned, they've taken it. Just because it's just like, this is, uh, this is okay. We're taking this a little too far. It's going yeah. crazy. It's like, uh, this is ugly. But I but it's too late by then because it has been, it is total devastation. And then he meets back up with the Aes Sedai afterwards, mm-hmm. the ones that were there to help him. He's got no patience for right. any of them now because the yeah. he's sitting there. Oh, box, yeah. No, no, no. He's pissed came, now. The ones that came to help him, he had left in Karian and. He said, "Y'all make. I'm going to Camelin. Y'all can bring, I think nine. No, you mean six. They brought nine. Mm. That's right. He said, y'all can bring the same amount of ice to die that the tower brought. So you are on equal footing. They came with nine. He said, you can't be trusted. Yeah. You are now you are now apprenticed to the wise ones. The wise ones. <laughs> and, and the thing, and, right. and it's just like you know, you will kneel and or we will be knelt. <laughs> right. Yeah." No, no, like, they, not they playing to, anymore. Is, right. you know, I said I, they can't lie if they give their word that they're forced to keep it, and they are forced to bend the knee, give their fealty to him. Yeah. Um, and yeah. Yeah. He's son, not of, it. son of Jarrell, kneel before Zod. <laughs> you know, this is we're not we're not playing this time. It's it's great. It's it's, like, it's great. It's just like you know, I told you you could bring six. You brought nine. I can't trust you. But you're on the, riding in that box the whole time, just like. Oh, can't yeah. trust any Aes Sedai ever again. Never trust him. Him. Never trust. Yeah. It's just at this mantra. We you know he's not going to like any of them moving forward. Yeah, they, yeah. They, you just made matters going. worse with because the Dragon Reborn because he's him, never going you know, back. He's he's turned that hate against all of them. Oh yeah. yeah. It's it, it's it's a really good one. It's a really good. I mean, there's no nude circuses in this one, but you know yeah. what? Still. Still, this is a really good one. You had actually said that uh, the other night when you came over and uh, Stephen's wife had turned to a, a gula. Dula. 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 I had to look that up, by the way. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> is there a cream for that? <laughs> Sometimes Bruce's wife can be a doula too. <laughs> She's working in labor and delivery. Um, not really. Okay. Oh, she, she does. I thought she did it she before. She the new mom's class, but she That's doesn't right. really work That's on the on the floor. Didn't she do it a long time ago? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She, yeah. She was there. She birthed when a while. Of, when, when, my, when, my yeah. first, when my first child was born, she was there. Okay. Well, there you go. Glad we went off that topic. <laughs> <laughs> now everybody but, listening is uh, looking uh, up what a doula is. Doula is. D O U L A. Yeah. <laughs> go look it up. Uh, but don't look up images. <laughs> no, 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 no. Do not Google image that. Do not Google image that. Look out. He, 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 you can't remove you can't remove that site. You don't want to see it. This is not something you want no. to see. Okay? Um but it, <laughs> It's too late. It's too late. We've broken the internet. <laughs> I do, man. <laughs> I was just saying, but last night when you weren't here, he was just telling me, he's like, this is a really good book. I said, I know. We're not going to talk about it yet. We're going to wait for tomorrow. <laughs> but it was. It was a really, it's, it's a really good one. And you said, you you actually told him it was going to be oh, yeah. one of the better ones. And it, it really is. And I'm about four books past this now. Oh, okay. I think I'm on 10 or 11 now. Okay, right on. So that would make six. This is... No, this is six. So yeah, about five books past it. I still haven't come across one that's as good as this. No, but but that's because you haven't gotten to the. To you're the, getting the, the slob, but when you get to part. Brandon Sanderson stuff, it does pick up a lot mm-hmm. better. I finished it, yeah. um, and so it, it does get a lot better. But uh, anyone, the, the, anyway, the next one is the uh, Crown of Swords. Is that correct? Uh, the next one's 
I believe, looking at my list there. Yes, yes, it's Crown yeah, of Swords. Just downloaded it. Let me yeah, see. Crown of Swords. So that'll be the next one we'll review. And uh, but but Lord of Chaos, final thoughts. We all agree it's a really solid yeah. book. Yeah. Really solid book in the Wheel of Time series. Um, and the Wheel of Time is really rocking it at this point. Crown of Swords is good, but we start to descend when we get to Path of Daggers. I think, yeah, my opinion. A bit. But uh, anyway, so um, there you have it, folks. One, one more oh. thing about this, and, and this just kind of has to do with the adaptation for the for the TV show. Yeah, is this is brutal. This is not your typical. Um, you know, young adult. Oh no! Fantasy. You know, oh the dragons going and burning things and stuff, but you don't get the, the description. You know, this is this is basically gore. It's really yeah. Gore. yeah no, no, this is gory. This is this is Daenerys <clears throat> torching King's Landing. Yeah. People on fire, running around. Aaron Rodgers coming Scri- around. The- the, the corner S- on fire. I mean, screaming! Every they're all screaming. They're they're running in terror because they don't. Yeah. They the, I said I had no idea, no idea it was going to evolve into this. Right. And I mean, yeah, I mean, like well, I said, heads it, by, heads exploding. I mean, really, yeah. I mean just bound by the three O's. They can't do this, so they don't. Yeah. They, they don't um, practice ways of destroying things. Yeah. And the, that's what only thing that the Ashman do. Yeah. And so. Th- this really, Boys. yeah. <laughs> we just want to destroy. It's like that's, that's the power to make things that's, explode. Yes. That's <laughs> what that's what Min says at the end. She punches. She lightly punches uh, Rand's arm and goes, "Silly, <laughs> silly Willie, yeah. you're cleaning all this up." <laughs> and internally, he's trying not to destroy her for you know hitting him. <laughs> that's right. That's right. So Min's like, "I'm going to go back to my former life as a doula." <laughs> that, that's the, what I'm t- saying. Is that People that think that this is just a you know fun light little game. fantasy romp, yeah, yeah this, no. This is George R. R. Martin never got this graphic. Okay, I've never, I haven't read his books, but I, I probably agree because this is a pretty graphic this one. This is very, very graphic. This one is, yeah. So, um, so there you go. So kids, don't don't read this alone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Ask you, mom and dad's you're, permission. You're okay, thinking you that your your eleven or twelve year old boy needs to be listening or reading these. Mm, might want to wait a couple of years. Yeah. <laughs> Especially for... Especially for the kiss and cuddle parts. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you when you circuses. when you start reading reading about nude circuses or well turned calves. Yes. Turn thy ears away. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well thanks for that. Thanks for that parental guide there. All right, so we'll see you next time on Princes of the Universe. <laughs>